here we go again with this stormy, stormy Daniels and this Russia, Russia, Russia. It's the same attack. It's the same storyline. They have run out. They are at the end of the line. And let me tell you how I know they are. The other day I'm at work. Co-worker comes up to me. He says, hey, man, I'm behind the bar. He says, hey, man, Trump's going to get locked up. I said, what for, man? What, what is it this time? Is it taxes? Is it Stormy Daniels? Is it, was it China? Is it Russia? Is it Putin? What is it? What is it now? I don't know, man. I saw the headline. And then I turn around. There's one dude at the bar. And you know what he does? He goes, you talking about the Donald? And I'm like, oh my God, here we go. And he goes into a 45 minute rant about the Donald and his taxes. And he's talking like he knows everything. And he even goes as far as to say, you know, Al Capone didn't get arrested for all the crimes and the murders. He got arrested for his taxes. He was talking about Trump's deflates, inflates, and it does all kinds of shenanigans with his taxes. And I'm like, oh, my God. It took me two seconds when I got home to realize it was Stormy, Stormy Daniels. The same old, tired, just run-down story that they've already drugged through the courts but with that being said, I realized this guy who seemed educated, who seemed like he knew what he was talking about, didn't know jack shit. And so I had to make a video like this to let people know that not only did Stormy, Stormy Daniels drag Trump through the courts, she lost and then lost an appeal and then was court ordered to pay over 300 thousand dollars in lawyer fees to trump okay and the nbc and the abcs and the msnbcs are trying to use this same story that trump used campaign finances to pay this low budget ass porn star to be quiet but who did pay her that is the question one of trump's old lawyers that he cut ties with Okay, Trump, you got to remember, is dealing with casinos, all kinds of stuff. He's got properties. He's got all kinds of stuff. And so he has one low budget ass lawyer that is probably using his name to be claimed to fame and then goes and pays a porn star one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to do a little bit of strains for some change. And then when it comes out, he tried to convince Trump to pay one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to cover what he spent. Trump said no. And that's where this event came from, because old Stormy Daniels went and got Michael Avenetti, who is now a convicted felon for trying to extort people, which is exactly what they tried to do to Trump and Cohen. This dude is doing 14 years hard crime for that and tax evasion. So you're talking about two attorneys that are not criminal attorneys, that are attorneys that are criminals involved in this case. And now you got a low down, low budget porn star that sees the stars in her eyes, sees Trump. Remember this at the time, he's doing The Apprentice. He's doing all this. Now he's running for president. Why not? Why not shoot for the moon? You guys already broke all the other laws because right now Michael Cohen can't practice law because he was, uh, he found out that he was doing uh, perjury in the courts which means lying in the courts, so he can no longer be a lawyer. He also was found for fraud. Uh, Michael Avenetti, like I said, 14 years for uh, uh, um, not only tax evasion, but extortion, exactly what they tried to do to Trump. And then little old Stormy Daniels herself, Stormy, Stormy Daniels, had to pay Trump over $300,000. Look it up. Everything I just told you was true. But I realized this because I had a man at the bar when my coworker told me, hey, man, Trump's going to get arrested. And I said, why? Don't tell me it's because of taxes and the Stormy Daniel BS stuff. He goes, I don't know. I just saw the headline. This is why my whole point. This is what my whole point is. Them, the mainstream media, throwing out all these uh, alleged stories 
makes people feel like they have the facts and the news and stuff because they come on there and they sound real important. They sound like they know what they're saying, but they're giving you propaganda. And you need to start looking for the truth. You need to start going on different platforms, okay? Like Rumble, like Parler, like Gab, because I've seen this same old rusty ass uh, hamster cage with the wheel in it. And just like that guy that was at my bar, he looked like a hamster to me running around in a wheel. And I sat there for 45 minutes as he told me everything. And then when I got home, it took me two minutes to find out it was the same Stormy Daniels story that they're trying to say that Trump used campaign funding to pay her off. Despite the fact that both lawyers can no longer practice lawyer law, one is sitting in 14 years of jail, and one has been convicted of perjury, which means lying in a courtroom. These are sleaze balls mixed with a low-budget porn star, and they're still ready to push that story. This is how low-down and deceptive times we are in right now, all to try to defeat Trump. And I don't care if you hate him, if you freaking can't stand him, he did one job and one job only. He woke you up to this two-tiered system of the uh, judicial system that they're pushing on us right now. And you need to start looking at it. It's not funny anymore. It's ridiculous. It's gotten to the point of, of sanity. We have a, a brain-dead president in an office. Who are we going to replace him with? They, they don't even know. This is why they have to pull out the stormy, stormy Daniels. Just like the Russia, Russia, Russia story from the crate, from the corner store where her DVDs were sold for three, for nine ninety nine. Because that's how low budget she was. She was willing to do whatever she needed to do. And if you just take 10 to 15 minutes, go to Tube Galore, and you can look at every orifice that you want to. Sam Smith did this on the, the Grammys. I did this, and I got to see in every single orifice of uh, old Stormy Daniels. And considering the fact that she owes Trump $300,000 in lawyer's fees, yeah, those things get really low budget, okay? So you go ahead and do yourself a little deep dive on Stormy Daniels, and then you put together the facts. You see if she was willing to do something strange for some change. Look at Michael Cohen and how he can no longer practice law. Look at Michael Evanetti and where he's sitting currently in 2023. And you just go ahead and do a little deep dive. Just go that far, I dare you. And then you're going to find out that it's just another Russia, Russia, Russia. And Stormy, Stormy Daniels is willing to do a little bit of strange for a little bit of change. Wake up. It's 2023, and in 2024, they're going to hit us hard, and they're going to hit us fast, and that's what they're trying to do. But with that being said, I'm here for you. I'm at Rumble.com at Mikey Romero, and I'm at YouTube at Mikey Romero 8521. All right? Talk to you later.